Good morning. Welcome back to the English class. I'm your English teacher, Ms. Rachna Chandarana, and I'm back with another learning video. In today's video, we are going to revise English grammar. That is lesson number three, countable and uncountable nouns. In today's video, we are going to revise and recollect everything that we have studied about countable and uncountable nouns till date. This video is a compilation of all the studies that we have done till date. Because countable and uncountable nouns is a part of our syllabus for Terminal 1 examination. So let us go ahead, revise and practice countable and uncountable nouns. So to start with, we are going to see a small animated video of Periwinkle which is on countable and uncountable nouns. So let's get going. Nouns Countable and Uncountable Countable nouns have plural forms. For example, Spoon Spoons Student Students Uncountable nouns do not have plural forms. For example, Snow Snow Flower Flower Jam Jam Countable nouns are objects that can be counted as separate units using numbers. For example, two spoons, six students. Uncountable nouns are objects that cannot be separated and counted individually. We use quantifiable words such as much, some or a little before uncountable nouns to quantify them. For example, much snow, some flour, a little jam. Abstract nouns are mostly uncountable. For example, Patriotism Courage Laziness The phrase how many is combined with countable nouns. For example, how many hill stations have you visited so far? The phrase how much is combined with uncountable nouns. For example, how much oil should I pour in the pan? The determiner any is used in negative sentences with countable as well as uncountable nouns. For example, I have not brought any notebook today. There isn't going to be any basketball practice today. I hope that the animation of the video has made it easier for you to recollect everything that we have studied till date about countable and uncountable nouns. So now I want you to take out your grammar book and refer to page number 7. It is lesson number 3 in our book, Countable and Uncountable Nouns. So to start with, let us see what are countable nouns. I'm sure you remember, but let us recollect once more. Countable nouns are names of items that can be counted. They may be singular or plural. Let us see a few examples of countable nouns now. 
if you open page number 7 of your book you will be able to see that there are six pictures given we have to count and write the number of people animals or things for each of the following picture so let's go ahead the first picture has clowns so let us count the number of clowns that are there in the picture 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 there are six clowns in the next picture there are dolls 1 2 3 4 there are four dolls in this picture so let us write down four in the blank in the third picture there are frogs one two three four and five there are five frogs in this picture so let us write down five in the next picture there are ice creams one two three four five there are five ice creams in this picture in the next picture there are mangoes let us count the number of mangoes that are there in this picture one two three four five six seven eight and nine there are nine mangoes let us see the last picture they are crayons and there are 11 crayons in this picture so let us write down 11 with our pencil in the book Now let us see what are uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns are names of items that cannot be counted. They are always singular. Now let us see a few examples of uncountable nouns. The first one is sugar. Now children even if you try, you cannot count the grains, the number of grains of the sugar that is given to us. The second example is of water. Even if we try, we cannot count water. The third example is oil. The next example is wheat. Next one is juice then comes grass and the last picture is of sky now children even if we try we cannot count sugar water oil wheat juice grass and sky they are all uncountable nouns and hence we cannot count them Now let us go to the next page that is page number 8. We have exercise A. In this exercise we have to look at the picture and write 5 countable and 5 uncountable nouns. Let us observe very very carefully. If you notice this is a picture of a beautiful park in which there are some children playing. There's a family which is out on a picnic. There are a lot of food items and drinks that are laid on the mat that is kept on the grass. So let us go ahead and find five countable nouns and five uncountable nouns. Let us see the answers. First of all, let us see the countable nouns in the picture. Number one would be boys because there are many boys in this picture. Number two would be girls because there are some girls too. Number three would be trees because we can see some trees in this picture. Number four is slide. If you can see there is a slide in the picture. Number five is ducks. If you notice in the water we can see two ducks. So these are the examples of countable nouns that we can find from the picture. If you find any of your own, you can write them. And if you cannot, 
you can just simply copy the ones that I have written for you. Now let us go ahead and see the uncountable nouns in the picture. The first one would be grass because the whole picture is full of grass. The second one could be water because we can see a water body, a small pond in the corner of the picture. The third one would be sky. The fourth one could be juice. If you see carefully, there is a jug kept and there are two glasses. So we assume that those glasses are full of juice. Number five could be rice because if you notice carefully, in a platter there is some rice kept there. If you notice any other uncountable nouns, you can write those as well. If you cannot, then you can simply copy the ones that I have written for you. Now children, there are some points that you need to remember. With countable nouns, we use words like a, an, few, a few or many to indicate number or quantity. For example, one horse which indicates the number, a few grapes which indicates the quantity. With uncountable nouns, we use words like much, a little, little, a lot of or plenty of to indicate quantity. We cannot use words indicating numbers with uncountable nouns. I hope you remember all these points. For example, milk. We cannot say one or two milk. We have to say some milk. Or we can say a lot of cheese. We cannot say one cheese or two cheese. So we have to say a lot of cheese. Some and any can be used with countable and uncountable nouns both. For example, we can say some oil. And we can also say some pencils. Now in this children if you see. Oil is uncountable nouns, whereas pencils are countable nouns. But we can use some with both countable and uncountable nouns. So we can say some oil and we can also say some pencils. Similarly with any. We can say any soup and we can also say any book. Here children, soup is an uncountable noun, whereas book is a countable noun. So we can use any with countable as well as uncountable nouns. So we can say any soup or we can also say any book. Now let's go ahead and practice a little more. Let us do exercise B on page number 9. Exercise B tells us to fill in the blanks. And to fill in the blanks we have to use a few words. These words are a few, little, a little, much, many, plenty of or some. We have to use any of these to fill in the blanks. I am sure most of you have done this exercise. In case you have not done it, please go ahead and do it now. And if you have done it, please take a pencil and put a tick mark if your answers are correct. We are just practicing for our terminal exam. So if you want to make your practice better, go ahead and write these sentences in your rough book. Let us see number one now. Number one says, There was very dash oil left in the can. So she ordered some more. In this blank, we are going to use little. So the answer is, There was very little oil left in the can. So she ordered some more. Let us see number two now. Not dash girls came for the music show. In this blank we are going to use many. So the answer is not many girls came for the music show. 
Let us see number three. I will have dash rice, please. Here we are going to use a little. So the answer is, I will have a little rice, please. The fourth one is, I can finish my work in dash minutes. Here we can use a few. And the answer would be, I can finish my work in a few minutes. The next one is, there was dash food left for everyone at the party. Here we are going to use plenty of. And the answer would be, there was plenty of food for everyone at the party. The next one is, they had to hurry as they didn't have dash time left. In this plank, we are going to use much. So the answer would be, they had to hurry as they didn't have much time left. The next one is, dash children love animals while others don't. Here we are going to use some. So the answer becomes, some children love animals while others don't. Let us see the next one. How dash sugar should I buy? Here we are going to use much. So the answer becomes, how much sugar should I buy? The next one is, how dash books do you want? Here we can use many. And the answer becomes, how many books do you want? Tenth one is, there is not dash cheese left for another sandwich. Here we can use much and the answer becomes, there is not much cheese left for another sandwich. The next one is, don't worry, you have dash time to finish your work. Here we can use some and the answer becomes, don't worry, you have some time to finish your work. Number 12 is, add dash salt to the soup. Here we can use a little. And the answer becomes, add a little salt to the soup. Number 13 is, wait for dash days before you begin your swimming lessons. Here we can use a few. The answer becomes, wait for a few days before you begin your swimming lessons. Number 14 says, we have dash good news to share with our friends. Here we can use some and the answer becomes, we have some good news to share with our friends. The last one that is number 15 is, I have read Panchatantra dash times. Here we can use many and the answer becomes, I have read Panchatantra many times. So children, I hope you have done both the exercises A and B and checked your work thoroughly by now. So students, with this we come to the end of today's learning video. I hope this video has helped you to recollect and remember everything that we have studied earlier about countable and uncountable nouns. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I will be back tomorrow with another learning video. It is again going to be a revision video for Terminal 1 examination. Till then, I want you to stay home with your family, stay safe and keep learning. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel which is called Rachna Chandarana on YouTube. I'll catch you again tomorrow with another revision video. Till then, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.